the base here, so it seems like a pretty good place for a building. So we'll drag that out of the content browser, just like that. We're taking around. Yeah. Alright, about that. So here. Is that UI out of the way? Looks like he's right there. Drag it this way. You should have these non uniform scaling as well, so you can kind of grab it in the corner. Let's get the whole thing just to the size that you want. Just gonna steal this guy, duplicate that, grab the button. Any good level designer, just get all the things. Yeah. If you've got things in the world to start with, it's much easier to pick them around and it's just a person in that fresh. So now, the world feels like it's a bit of a small model for me, so... It's not going to preview it at an actual real scale. I'm going to zoom myself up down to one. Now I'm in the world at one to one scale. Make the UI go away. And I feel like I'm standing on the street. It feels like maybe I want a barrel over here. So I can just jump over there, grab my barrel, teleport back, and my barrel down. Can you go into a physics-based mode so that once you scale that barrel how you want it, you can actually set it against the ground? Huh. Um, we actually can. It's a little bit buggy in this build, though. Uh -huh. So we, um, we have to disable it for sure. <laughs> it's one of those things, as soon as we started placing things in VR, we realized you know, the world feels so physical that you really want to start doing that, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a very intuitive thing. And it's something that we technically support. Um, it just needs a couple of bugs to find out. <laughs> Can you, is it possible to build like an interior? Um, it would be completely possible to build an interior, but I think this, this set that we put together is just a little exterior okay. uh, set. Imagine that